you work for your money. Now, this might hit some individual strange, but one of the things I learned very early in life was, in my life, was that working on a job was not going to cut it if I wanted to ever become what's considered today to be wealthy, all right? If I wanted to just survive, then a job is okay. Working for money is what you do when you have a job. I realized my dream in December, December 6 of 1986, and I got a job on Wall Street. Now, traders, listen to me. It's very important. My job was to trade the financial markets. Okay? My job was to trade the financial markets. And I did that after an initial period of almost blowing up. I did that exceedingly well. I was making anywhere between fifty and eighty thousand dollars an hour for my firm. Between fifty and eighty thousand dollars in trading profits per hour for my firm at my peak. And my base salary at that time in the mid eighties was $25,000 a year. So think about that. I was making 50 to $80,000 an hour for the firm. My base salary annually was $25,000. Now, listen, in all fairness, I had big bonuses base that was tied to my performance as a trader. So that's not necessarily what I pulled out in total. All right. The number was far north of that, but it didn't come anywhere near the value that I delivered for the firm overall. And it was one of the driving forces behind my ultimate decision after eight and a half years of doing that to actually start my own company, my own firm, and to live life on my own terms. But listen to this, wealthy people do not work for money. Wealthy people have their money work for them. And that's a very, very big difference. The vast majority of people living throughout life today are actually working for their money. They're putting in their, they're giving up their time, they're giving up their energy, they're giving up a portion of their life in exchange for money. And wealthy people don't do this. You see, wealthy people want their money actually working for them, whether they're awake and, and preferably even when they're asleep as well. And this is a very, very distinct mental shift that I had to make very early in my life. All right. Um, what's really somewhat sad to me is that our entire financial system, uh, our entire educational system throughout the world is really designed to create employees, to create people that work for someone else. The entire educational system is designed for that, all right? College, universities, all of the work that we do educationally is really specifically designed to teach people how to get a good job. It's designed to teach them to how, teach them how to become a good employee. There's very little education um, uh, being distilled in our children that teaches them how to be independent, that teaches them how to be investors, that teaches them how to be entrepreneurs, that teaches them how to be, how to have their money work for them. Most education is designed to teach people how to work for a salary. And I think that's a travesty today. And so if you can make that mental shift, if you haven't done that already, to find ways to have money work for you, that little, that subtle but very powerful shift in the way you think 
can make a huge, huge difference in, in your life. Um, your perspective on, on life in general changes when you understand that your purpose, that money's purpose is to work for you. You are not to work for money. Okay? So that's item number one. Wealthy people do not, do not work for money. They have money work for themselves, for, for themselves.